Hello, friends and comrades, it's me, the Invisible Hand, and welcome to the beta of Port Royale 4. So, I really liked Port Royale 3, and I like trading games in general, so when this popped up and it had a playable beta on Steam, I was like, okay, I have to get it. I have to get it, and I have to try it. So here we are. Now, because I know that Port Royale is kind of a lot to look at for people who don't know it, I figured uh, rather than just jumping into a game, because I haven't played it yet either, let's just go through the tutorials. So this will be a kind of play through the tutorials to give you a preview of the game and also for me to get a preview of the game. There is a campaign in this playable beta as well, but there is a lot to go through before we do that. So let's just go straight to the tutorials. And we're gonna start with the control basics. Uh, and Sammy will explain to us the basics of, a success of every successful venture in the Caribbean. Apparently I'm having a stroke, but here we are. Let's go. You also get a special bonus ship if you complete all the tutorials, so I want to Ahoy, do that. Landlord. Ahoy, oh god. You're volunteering oh, look at him. to come aboard? Usually we have to fill them with rum, drag them aboard, and ship them off before they sober Wait, up Wait, closed again. beta? All right. My Am I not allowed to Sam. put this online? I'm a captain here, and there may be some things I could teach you. I like how well this guy is animated. The most important thing is to know where you're sailing to. Climb into the lookout. Take the telescope and look around. W you can also the look keys. around in all direct to know exactly okay. where you are. Of course, you need a good naval chart. Here in the area, there are sixty towns. Sixty Spanish, towns. English, French, and these money bags from the Netherlands. English. And of course, pirates from all over the world. Money bags from the Netherlands. That's you, Pippin. Your money bags from the Netherlands. I'm sure you'll recognize one or the other convoy. For example, these could be merchants or military convoys. The only way to find out exactly is to get close enough with one of your own convoys, which is not always a good idea. Okay, so basically you can see other ships sometimes, but you got to be close enough. You can see that the ship just disappeared here because it sailed away. Um, and sometimes those are pirates. I remember this from Port Royal 3. I am expecting for people who are familiar with Port Royal 3 for there to be not very much revolutionary gameplay change. Look, there's a ship that just arrived. Um, so if we moved around with our ship, then we would probably see. But let's, Check let's continue. Check out Port Royal your hometown during this exercise. This is the town on the island in the middle of the Caribbean. Your convoy is in the port of the town. Select it. No right, vessels, so this is our no trade. It's as simple as that. Convoy. Such a convoy consists of up to 10 ships. But for you, one is fine for now. Until you can hire sailors and a real good captain, you'll have to show that you can handle yourself. Look at how well he's animated, though. I like that. Take a look at the different parts of the convoy. All right, so this is our convoy. It has only one vessel right now. No crew for some reason. Um, so we've got no commodities. The one schooner. Oh, hold up. Oh, I can't go back. I, I wanted We're to mouse over the schooner. not here for fun. It's about trade between the towns and commodities and gold. It's about gold. Select the town Port Royal to open up the town dialogue. But select right. the whole town, not a single building. So don't zoom in too far. <gasps> Wait, what? Look at this. Okay, this is new and this is very cool. So, okay, so we're not supposed to do that. But look, business is owned by a local merchant. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know this would be a thing. All right, so that that's really cool. But yeah, let's select the whole a town. town is nothing without its inhabitants. These consist of workers and their families. Uh-huh. The workers toil in the businesses and on farms and produce the commodities. Uh-huh. The fine gentlemen like to come up with an attitude, but it is very important that the inhabitants are satisfied because otherwise, they simply run away. The supply of commodities plays the biggest part of satisfaction. Alright. Now select the production tab. 
Okay, so this is our overview of the whole thing. We've got all sorts of things. Risk of plague. Cool, 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 cool. Sure. Right. Every town also produces its own commodities, up to seven different ones. But people want more. And that's where trade comes into play. And right. your convoy. It brings the people what they cannot produce themselves. So these are the things that this particular town produces. And presumably there's going to be a little bit more info on on all of that now stuff. Now select the trade between town and convoy tab. All right, so Everything here's where we do the trade. Can be found Very familiar. The market. Or maybe not. And then they get dissatisfied. Each item also displays production, consumption, and the current price. All right, so this is a lot like, I can't scroll down, it's not letting me. This is a lot like Port Royale 3, and I believe tons of other trading games, including Patrician. Um, I don't, they kind of all blend together. But basically, this indicates, I mean, maybe he's going to explain. Let's the better check the there. demand of a commodity yeah. is coming Here we go. in the next weeks. Oh, that's, that's all the you're going to say? The price. Uh -huh. That makes sense, doesn't it? So commodities produced in a town are usually quite cheap. All right. So now basically grain and buy 20 barrels. If we go way too far, we basically take away all of their supply and that makes them unhappy. So what you want to do is you want to buy cheap and you want to sell high. So we're buying 20 barrels. You can see that the price also like it's it's good right now, but as soon as we go into lower demand, see that the price goes up or lower supply higher demand um, the price goes up so the whole idea is like we're gonna buy cheap while the grain is being loaded into your convoy let's see where the shortage is there you can then sell the commodities with profit and make people happy at the same time love making people happy now close the town dialogue all right so this is all the other stuff that we have um, so you can see that some things they just don't have. So if we bring those things, this is how it worked in the other games, and I'm assuming it works like this here as well, the town likes you better because you're giving them stuff that they need, plus you're selling them at a higher cost. If you zoom out of the map far enough, you will see more towns northeast of Port Royale. Oh my. Move the cursor over these towns to see the commodities they produce. Tortuga My frame looks rate good. is not great. Send your convoys there. Tortuga looks good. Alright, so we're gonna send our convoy there. Can I rename this convoy? Alright, let's name it Zephyr. Alright, let's go sure over to Tortuga. Make town lights up when you send a convoy there. After all, he's supposed to dock in the harbor and not drift around outside the town. Look at us go. I can't believe they just sent us out with just 20. What's that? Look, there's a storm in the back. Wow. All right, can we speed up the game? Now we'll wait until your convoy arrives in Tortuga. Oh, look at that. Rapid progress. Just zoom out. The further you zoom out, the faster time will pass. So we're zoomed in. It goes real slow. We zoom out. Look at them go. Okay, that's really cool. I don't think that was a feature of 3. If it was, I just never noticed. Maybe I was just really bad at that game. Ah, arrived in Tortuga. There we go. No evening without beer, rum, and brawls. And no trading without permission. So open the town dialogue and get a trading license first. Alright, so we need to get a trading license. Oh, what's this? It's got a little... Oh, it's... Oh, okay, so this shows its relations to the other things. All right, trade license. Now open the trade tab again and sell all of your grain to the town. All right, so see, this is you. You can see the average price is still the same as before. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen with my fingers because that doesn't do anything. But yeah, average price is the same. But you can see that the price is higher. As we sell, we satisfy their demand. We're not actually satisfying anything because we are bringing just twenty. We could have bought so much more. Great. But we're you making a have ton to of used to profit. All the commodities and prices, but through trade you can earn the most money. For this, I offer a special course about the Caribbean economy. A special course. And there is also a lesson about creating automatic trade routes. I like this pirate who's got like a Coursera business on By the, the side. By the way, 
In Port Royal, they need wood. Buy 50 units and return to Port Royal. There is work to be done at the shipyard. All right, so we're going to take all this money back to Port Royal, or all this wood. Um, Until the convoy reaches Port Royal, a tip from me. Convoys cost money, maintenance, and repairs. Avoid empty trips and load your vessels as much as possible. Well, then why did you take me to, to, tell me to just take 50, dude? Port Royal. The smell of seaweed, old fish, and hope for prosperity. Zoom in on the town until you see the shipyard and select it. All right, this is really cool. The whole zooming in and zooming out being such an editing thing. Also, I don't know if I mentioned earlier when I did it, but you can press plus and minus to speed up the game and presumably you can also change it. Nope, can't change it here. Just plus and minus. Just plus and minus did that. Wait, is maybe this? Nope. All right. Um, right. Convoys that are on the road a lot. The shells have to be scraped off regularly. On the road? And that's what the shipyard is for. On the road? But you can also get a new barge here if you need more cargo space. We're not on the road. Buy a new vessel and get out of here for now. Get out of here. All right, so we can buy a sloop. Look at this, we're buying a sloop. Do 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 do. Oh, oh, we got an achievement for that. Excellent. So your vessel is still in the shipyard and you can't even see it. You have to add it to a convoy first or convert it into a new one. All right. You can't even see it. The way he said that, like you idiot. We right. do that at the lighthouse. Oh, Selected. okay. On the left, you can see the selected convoy and your unused vessels on the right. By selecting a vessel, it switches sides. That way you can enlarge, reduce, or dissolve convoys. It's not loading me yet. If no convoy is selected, Dude, you, you talk can create so slow. a new convoy with free vessels. Can we, can we do it? Now add your new vessel to the Thanks. existing convoy. Thank not you, sir. for a landlubber. The basics are in place. Okay. One more thing. Okay. Whenever you come across one of these info icons, you can use it to open the appropriate pages in the manual for Caribbean merchants. The Try it. The yep. info icon will always bring you to the right place in the manual. You can also open the manual at any time and just browse through it. Nice. Nice. Can I? Okay. All right. You've got the basics down, I hope. But there's a lot of people out there just waiting to make a rookie like you walk the plank. So I'm recommending my other classes as well. Don't worry. They're shorter. Let's go. Let's let's subscribe to this man's Coursera course. Um, excellent. Tutorial completed. Look at this. We keep getting these achievements. I don't... Oh. I was like, why are they just A00 or A something else? It's beta. We're still in beta. Um, yeah, let's start the next tutorial. Wait, am I not allowed to show this? It does say closed beta. All but... rested up and ready for the Caribbean economy? <laughs> let's go. First, select your convoy in the harbor of Port Royal. Is All right. That clear? Check the hold of your convoy to Ooh, see what we you have just loaded. Beer. So we this is the next later. tutorial. A this lot is why of beer. Beer is important. Does not make you as drunk as rum and not as sick as spoiled water. Now open the town dialogue of Port Royal. To do so, select the whole town from a greater distance, or if the camera is close by, the town hall or undeveloped areas. Yeah, I really like the zooming thing. Also, I like the description of beer. It is important, does not make you as drunk as rum, and not as sick as spoiled water. That's a great description of beer. Here you can see the inhabitants who live here and have to be taken care of. We already of. did this, dude. About one quarter of them are workers. Some of what they produce can be traded with other towns. Excellent. Below you can see which cultivation and mining commodities can be produced in the town and okay. how efficient such a production would be. Handicrafts, such as clothing, can be produced equally well in all towns. Okay, so there's different things, I guess, People that are always ask that for we can all plant. Commodities and the variety of commodities affects the satisfaction. Uh -huh. In small settlements, however, simple commodities are more important. If the town grows, 
The inhabitants become more demanding, and the upscale commodities becomes more important. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. Now switch to the production tab to see the production of the town. Each town can they? produce a oh. maximum of seven different commodities. What does Here it mean that it's restricted? Here you can see what is produced in Port Royal per day. Okay. This is much more than the inhabitants themselves need. The surplus can then be traded the with other towns. Surplus. Your businesses will be here later. All right, so that's cool. So we've got not only telling us what it's using to produce these things, um, it's got everything, including this production of commodities restricted, which I don't know what that means. Now switch to the trade between town and convoy tab to see the commodities on the town's market. No, let here me you can to... see all Dude, commodities we did that this. are available, sorted Why by their importance for the inhabitants. The first column shows the fill level of a commodity. I guess he's this going is through the specifics ratio of now. Supply to demand. Mm -hmm. From two green bars on, a commodity is no longer scarce. From four bars on, it is in abundance. Excellent. Alright, cool. Here you can see how many commodities are in stock at the market of the town and in the selected convoy. The convoy must of course be anchored in the harbor of the same town. Oh dude. By buying and we selling, already did you this. commodities between the town and the convoy. Um, but yeah, later we can actually also have a warehouse in town, so can we can actually the town produces and consumes. You don't need to be a this thing. Includes commodities don't need that to have a ship. As raw material for other products. Compare stock and fill level. The longer the stock lasts, the more secure and satisfied the citizens feel. Yeah, so that's really convenient, really easy to see. You're going to see how much is produced, how much is consumed. For example, I just noticed they're not consuming any of these pastries, these little crumpets. So maybe we can buy some crumpets. Ooh, what's this? We've got so much cotton. But it's not saying that they're producing it. I mean, it's saying here, but it's not saying here. That's strange. All right. The price of a commodity changes Maybe they're full. Maybe they're full of cotton. Because supply and demand. The higher the fill level, the lower the price. For the beginning, you should remember, buy from two green bars, sell until two green bars. Yep, yep, got it, got it. The last column shows the average price you paid for a commodity. Of course, you should always sell a commodity at a higher price. Oh. Take a look at the price of beer. The average price of your loaded commodities is lower than the current price in the town. I like that it tells you how much you bought it for. I think in Port Royal 3 it did not do that. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I didn't pay attention during the tutorial. But I like that it's listed here. I don't have to remember it. I don't have to write it down. This is how much this this is worth People want from beer, what I bought. And you can give it to them. To do this, select the commodity and slowly move the amount from right to left. You can see how the stock and the fill level of the town increases and the price per unit decreases. Now sell your beer supply to the town and close the town dialogue. All right, we're going to sell 90 beers to these people. Actually, let's do a 96. 90. Let's just do 100. I know I'm like we're not it's not the most ideal price, but you know, 100 nice two lines. Excellent. Lovely. close the dialogue no that was wrong oh open the trade dialogue again to do this select wait am I selling all my beer greater distance or if the camera is close by the town hall or undeveloped areas okay then yeah, yeah. The trade between town and convoy sorry tab. I'm such a bad People pupil beer and you can give it to them to do this select the commodity and slowly move the amount from right to left Wait, you am I selling all my beer? And the fill level Look, of the we're, we're losing money now. And the price per unit decreases. Oh, yeah. Now sell your beer supply to the town and Why close sell the town beer? dialogue. Very nice. Now show what you have learned. There's an abundance of grain in Port Royal right now. Buy at least 100 barrels. We bought 100 barrels. Can I buy anything else? Can I buy more? All right, so what I would do is I would just buy it like until it starts dropping. So let's buy 40 more. Sure. He said at least. On board. 
Now you need a destination. I recommend Port-au-Prince, east of Port Royal. Set up your convoy there, open the town dialogue, and get a trade license. Then you sell the grain to the town. Port-au-Prince. Here we are, Port-au-Prince. Okay, we're not there yet. Were you there yet? I think we're there. Alright, so we need a trade license. And then we uh, sell the grain. <gasps> Look at that. All of the grain sells at a much higher price than what we bought it for. Excellent. That was my Caribbean economy crash course. It's really very simple. Buy, Buy cheap, cheap and sell, sell dear. dear. And don't waste all the profits on drinks. You should now understand what the price of commodities depends on. In the beginning, you do the trading yourself. Later, you set up trade routes and leave the trading to your convoys. Of course, always to your specifications. Excellent. Cool. Amazing. I love it. Let's... let's do this. Is this it? Um... Let's see. Let's go back to the menu. I want to see the other tutorials. So, we've got a few more. Quite a few more to do. Later we'll be learning how to do battles and stuff. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's do this one as well. We've still got time. we still got a little bit of time, right? You want to sail comfortably over the sea and enjoy the wind and waves? Then you're in the wrong place. I want to teach you how to organize I your wish he'd talk just slightly so that they faster. More profit for you. And we'll start right away. Choose your convoy that anchors at Port Royal. I've chosen it. You already it. know the different areas of a yep. convoy. Select Wait, the area our, our flute Here, is you damaged. Here, see the vessels of your convoy. It's important that you understand the difference between a vessel and a convoy. Yep. Yep. Even if the convoy consists of only one vessel. Yep. Understood. Suppose you buy a vessel in the shipyard. Then it will stay there until it belongs to a convoy. Only then it gets a crew and is put into the harbor. From that moment on, you can fill the vessel with commodities and put it to sea. Free vessels are something like dead capital. They are not operational but they don't generate any costs. All right, so if you're not using a vessel, don't make it part of the thing, and it won't cost any money. Two buildings Got in it. the town are important when it comes to vessels. We already the did this, dude. Okay, the can we just skip that? Let's first have a look at the shipyard in Port Royal. Select it to enter it. Can we repair our ship? You have to zoom in close enough to the town, otherwise oh, we gotta you won't be able to select to individual it. buildings. In the shipyard, you can repair, All right, buy, let's and repair. sell vessels. As you can see, the vessel in your convoy could use a little overhaul. Oh boy. Get it done. Come Great. on, sir. While the repairs are being carried out, we look at the vessels the shipyard is currently offering for sale. Nice. To do so, select the next area in the shipyard. Larger shipyards sometimes offer used vessels for sale. These can come from bankrupt merchants, mm. for example. This is a Bankrupt good opportunity merchant. for you to get Love a, a good thrift easily. offer. Just buy the two vessels on offer. Oh, we're buying both? This military do, do, frigate do, do, do. needs command do, 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 do. points. Ooh. This applies to all vessels with cannons. They can only be included in convoys that have a captain. Oh. And people trained in this field do not grow on trees. Look, it's got a skill. The current vessel sets the sails of a neighboring vessel ablaze and thus will detain it for the next round. <gasps> Ooh, so combat's got a lot spicier. For the really okay. big vessels, you have to prove that you are loyal to your nation and accumulate oh. fame. Here represented by fame points. Your fame increases when you do things that our dear Viceroy particularly likes. Our dear Viceroy. More on this later, in another lesson. He's constantly teasing his now Corsair lessons. Now look at the other parts of the shipyard. Him. You can sell vessels which you don't need anymore, and order the construction of vessels. Ah. However, this always takes a while, and there must be enough building material available at the town's market before the shipyard can start the construction. But is it cheaper to build your own? 
How much did we buy these for? These are barks, and we bought them for about, what, third? I guess it's about the same. I, I forget how much we paid for them. <laughs> to build right. new convoys or add new But it does take other materials, now. right? You need the lighthouse. Now close right, the let's go to the lighthouse. Open the lighthouse of Port Royal. Okay, on the sir. left side, your selected convoy there is displayed. There we go. I wish he would just on move right on. On the right side, you can see your free vessels, which are docked in the harbor. Just select a vessel to move it between the port and the convoy. If you have not selected a convoy that is anchored in the harbor, a new convoy will be displayed on the left side, which you can create with your vessels. Yeah, so in the end you can have a ton of convoys sailing around. Again. We have just talked about captains. Choose the captain's tab oh, in your convoy. A convoy is ready to go even without a captain. Okay. But a captain improves many characteristics and allows to carry armed vessels. A captain's license. Unfortunately, such captains are hard to find, and for each, you need a captain's license. You can get a captain's license from your viceroy. Ugh. But more about this in Who a later this? lesson. Who this? If a captain applies to you, this will be displayed here. Now open the captain's dialogue. Wait, he's a here, he's a can captain. See which captains are working for you, or who is applying as a captain? Every captain has other skills that will improve with time. Take a look at oh. everything, and then hire the captain. Oh look, he's increasing the capacity of this convoy. But also, I don't like him. A he looks weird. A captain doesn't work for free, so don't forget to assign him to a convoy after you hire him. Otherwise, you'll pay for doing nothing. All right, so now we gotta assign, assign him. the captain. There he to is. He's assigned. Very good. Look, we got With more the stuff. Help of their command points. Okay, so this doesn't can stack. Lead armed vessels. The higher okay. the level of a captain, the more command points he can use. And that concludes this lesson about vessels and convoys. See you soon. All right, so here's what I noticed. Usually when you have like skills that you unlock like this, what I would, would imagine, because they're all lit up, is that they stack. Like We got the 5% bonus, we got the 10% bonus, we got the 15% bonus, but it really is just the last one. So maybe what I would do if I were the developer is like when you unlock this one, the star disappears from here. When you unlock this one, these two stars are both gone just so that it's very easy conveyable that you know only the highest thingy counts anyway yeah i believe this will be it for today and i'm actually just gonna continue these tutorials i'm having a lot of fun and um we are going to just learn how to do this game and then maybe if people are interested i'll do the campaign I would love to do the campaign. There is a campaign. There's a little story. Um, there is a Spanish one and an English one. And I believe, uh, yeah, you gotta do Spain first to get to England. So I'm, I actually am really psyched for this. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to do all the things that you do when you've enjoyed the video. And if you want to join us on some future learning adventures, I'm presuming it's gonna be one or two more videos of tutorials. Uh, follow along. I'll probably be posting these once per week and I also post other videos every day of the week um, Monday to Friday so you can check out some of the stuff that's on screen or it should be on screen by now And you can also check out my twitch where I stream five times a week uh, And that's in the description. All right Have a good one. See ya